Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy, Happy Labor Sunday. Day. Happy early Labor Day. Happy Labor, Labor Day, Day weekend. weekend. That sounds like a good one. So push, Gonzo, push. <laughs> so <laughs> what am I pushing? It's labor. Oh, uh, labor. Oh, yeah. Flavor. Oh, flavor. Not oh, labor. No happy labor. Flavor Day. Oh, well, that's that's a good segue. Happy Flavor Day. Um, so currently right now we, well, I am smoking the Rome, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like I don't you know. need confirmation? I don't know. I don't know. It is because I'm a door. Romeo. It is well. I was going to say Romeo and Julieta, but I I stopped he myself. It up. I stopped myself, and, I said, and it's <laughs> just a Romeo and Juliet Reserva Maduro. Um, it's got a Connecticut broadleaf uh, wrapper, which is amazing. Um, they got a, I just started. Yeah, like five minutes ago. A Nicaraguan filler, I mean binder. Ah, and it's got a Dominican and Nicaraguan and a Peruvian fillers on the inside. So it's an amazing stick. Sweet. Um, uh, earthy. I got a little earthy. I don't know. It's a very good cigar. It's made in the Dominican Republic. And he's done. Okay, so what am I smoking? I'm smoking the Aging Room. Um, Quattro Maduro, number one cigar of the year, 2019. So, <sighs> very complicated blend. Go grab yourself a piece of paper and a pencil, pause the video, and come back. Okay, you're back now? All right. So, wrapper is Nicaraguan. The binder is Nicaraguan. <laughs> and the fillers? Let me guess. Nicaraguan. Whoa. <laughs> um, <laughs> this was blended <coughs> by A.J. Fernandez for Rafael Nodal with the Aging Room brand. Um, despite the fact that it is a Nicaraguan Puro, it's fairly mild on the pepper. And it has a lot of complexity. So they didn't say which valleys these leaves came out of, what the primings are for the cigar. Um, but there's, there's some variations going on in here. Um, it's got, it's got um, a depth of flavor, a little, little bit of everything going on, a little sweetness, a little woodiness, a little pepper, a little, little fruity, a little caramely, a little coffee -y. Um So it's a pretty good cigar. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, honesty is our policy. Does it deserve number one? I don't know. There were some other cigars that I liked better. But everyone has their own palate. Everyone has their own palate. And it is a very good cigar. So uh, if you haven't had last year's number one cigar of the year, Friday the 10th for our event is a great time to come and get it. Ben. Smoking, man. Um, so I'm smoking the Monte Cristo Espada. So this is a cigar. Um, Monte Cristo is typically made in Dominican, but this cigar was made by the Pacense family in Nicaragua. Um, it's all Nicaraguan tobacco, but it's Habano. It's Habano throughout. So it's a 2010 Habano wrapper from Jalapa, 2009 Jalapa binder from Jalapa, and then it's got Habano from 2008 from Ometepe, Contega, and Jalapa. So it's a lot going on, um, a lot of age stuff. The spice is still there. Usually when you age a cigar a lot, the spice will kind of go away. This has, still has a good amount of pepper to it, but not overwhelming. Um, really nice flavors though. It's really earthy and sweet. Some little kind of mocha coffee kind of thing going on. And a lot of pepper in the back of my throat, but not an overwhelming pepper anything like that and the and despite the pepper being there it's not a bad retro hell either so it's a beautiful cigar it's one of my favorite monte cristos um been smoking a spot ever since they came out and i like the little pepper bite i like the the spice in the cigar so um it's definitely one you should try um so yeah it's a beautiful cigar Pacencia. i mean you can't can't beat that you know so nope Okay, so you see a selection of boxes in front of us. 
Um, this isn't everything that Altados produces. It's not even everything that we're going to have for the event. Correct. But um, this is kind of a small a sampling. Sampling of some of the options that you have. You know, the the Trinidad is a nice mild medium. The uh, Monte Cristo white, beautiful cigar, very mild, very creamy. Um, the bold over here, the Onyx bold, full bodied. Oliveros Maduro aged in the warehouse several years before they released it. Oh, yeah. Of course, the Rustic Charut. Oh, goodness. are we going to be Rustic Charut today? No, but, you know, it's kind of kind of dreary out there. It's a little it's, rustic. It feels like a camping day. Very charuty. Um, yeah. What do you have over on your side, Gonzo? Um, well, I do have the Romeo, uh, which is the San Andres wrapper. Gorgeous cigar. I love the strength. That's one of my go-tos as far as the Romeo and Juliet. And then, of course, the H. Upman 175th Anniversary uh, Cigar. Another delicious. Just had that yesterday. I just couldn't put it down. Trying to that, smoke it down to the nub. That came out in 19, and we fell in love with it. We've got a lot of people that buy boxes, full boxes, on a regular basis. So, you know, if, you, if your pocketbook can't afford a full box... At least get one. It's a beautiful, beautiful cigar. I see and each four box is cigars, numbered. Four I, I cigars just, up here that were blended by AJ. Yeah. I just Trinidad, noticed that this box here is Romeo, numbered. The Romeo, Real, Nicaragua, the Quattro that you got, and uh, Romeo, San Andreas. Yep. All um, AJ Fernandez. That's something that since Ralph El Nadal took over working in it for Altadis, that that's kind of happened a lot. They've, he's Eight, gone with other, other families and stuff to kind of – beef up the brands and, and change them up and stuff from their traditional mm. um, so yeah history yeah. sorry so something that I just I, I just noticed that this box is actually numbered it's 9,628 of out of the 14,750 boxes that they made which is kind of weird I didn't know that they were numbered yep they're all numbered and they come with a commemorative coin and yes. certificate inside yes Pretty cool. Very, cool. very elegant. I want a coin. Sorry. Here, I, I think I found your coin right here. Oh. <laughs> Brian, what is on your shirt? Oh, oh that was for me, obviously. <laughs>